Welcome, you're listening to the Reaper Podcast, recorded live on December 1st, 2017. I'm one of your hosts, Joel Rinke, and you're joined by Mitch Drake. Hi! Jordan Sellers. Hello! And Adam Seckley. Howdy. Uh, how are we all doing? I just broke the microphone. <laughs> by yelling into it? Or no, just... no, the rubber parts that hold it in place are just gone. Makes sense. Oh. I feel like Adam broke his as well. You were fidgeting. Yeah, I was trying to get in place. And we're, so, yeah. so we're so prepared for this today. Yeah, yeah very prepared. One okay. would think we just so, ran straight in the studio and sucked down. The audience doesn't need to know that. Only we need to know that. Our wonderful audience will never know of our shame. Remember, if you are listening live and you can't stick around for the full show and you'd like to pick up where you left off, you can on the following Monday on our iTunes, Wooshka and YouTube page. Links to, well, links to which can be found on the Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash replay au. And also, actually, just something I want to add in here now that you guys are doing your LAR. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, if you like this podcast and you're more into esports, check out the um, live action replay podcast. Excellent. That Thank you can you. find I don't know, on Wushka. It's on, it's on the Facebook page and iTunes yeah. and all that sort yeah, of nonsense. Yeah, you'll find yeah, it yeah. somewhere. I would like to say it's just live action replay, not a live action replay podcast, because that would mean it would but, be but LARP. But it's a podcast, though. That's why but it I, can't I put be a LARP. Pause there. We, we, can't, we can't do LARP. No. Yeah. LARP, LARP stack. No. But um, <laughs> yeah. So if you're into esports, check that yeah. out. I don't, I don't talk on it because it's not my. Did forte. you enjoy our mid discussion plug last episode? I yeah. did. I did. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, coming up on the show this week, we'll be talking about uh, the Supernova interview week three, uh, Destiny two, uh, Pokemon Player and Battlegrounds, and the closer. The closer. <laughs> <laughs> Closer gets me. I should have scribbled that one out. <laughs> oh, uh, but first, we've been playing this week, guys. Who are we asking? We'll start, we'll start you, with you, Me? Mitch. All right. Well, I bought a Tartarus. I bought one of the, one of the like, hey, you're a gamer. You should buy this half a keyboard. Is that the Doctor Who box thing that you teleport through? No. What did no. I say? Tartarus. Tartarus, yeah. yeah I don't Tartarus. think that's what it's called. It's the pits of hell. Yeah. No, it's a Tartarus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's like a mini keyboard. And, and that's been what's encouraging what I've been playing. So okay. I spent a good solid hour and a half when I bought the thing making all the key maps for all the games I want to play. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so I built one for League of Legends. I built one for Guild Wars. I copied the League of Legends one and labeled it Heroes of the Storm and made the <laughs> lights go blue when I chose it. <laughs> yeah, I had fun with that when I had... So I've got one of those as well. I just, I've just i boxed it up for now. Oh, yeah, just for the moment. Yeah, I don't have enough desk space. <laughs> so, yes, as a result, I've been playing a lot more of League of Legends, which is surprising me. Yeah, um, you and Adam played a, uh, a couple of games, right? Yes, like, oh. and I did something I'd never expected to do. Play normal? No, I I paid money. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I spent, I You're spent the same level as me now. Yeah. I, well, not I didn't spend fifty bucks on loot right, boxes. What did you I buy? I've never done that. I spent ten dollars on loot boxes. <laughs> so you bought the loot boxes? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I don't know what heroes to play. I just have like four. I probably should have bought Leona. Actually, thinking about that yeah. now, I probably should have bought Leona. Because you said you said you like playing her. I like I like Leona. I like the the cow man. Alistair. 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 Yeah. I like I like uh, Garen. Yep. <laughs> he, he likes the tanky champs that can initiate. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he played, uh, I think it was Gino on match, oh. and he was playing like he was Alistair. And oh. It was really, it was really funny. <laughs> You're very aggressive. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just am bad. <laughs> anyway, hey, yeah, if I you get that, Alistair, I've been I will... doing Zelda. I've been doing all sorts of stuff. If you get Alistair, I'll yeah. buy you the best Alistair skin. I have Alistair. Okay, I'll get Which you the best. That? Dun, dun, oh, the dun, cowbell. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Please do. Please do. Uh, you, Adam. Um, I'm pretty much the same as Mitch, really. Just um, a lot of League of Legends. Haven't really playing a lot of games this week. Um, just a lot of TV watching for me. But yeah, pretty much just League of Legends this week. Mm-hmm. Um, playing with um, Mitch and then a little bit with James as well, and just just testing out the new meta. Really, everything's yep. OP. Everything's broken. You Have die. you tried Zoe yet? No, I haven't. Um, one of my mates does, and he loves her. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, everything's just broken in this meta. I think you just oh, die yeah. way too quickly. The games are like 30 minutes. So, I mean, it's quicker games, but yeah. And again, if you like our League of Legends talk, go look at our other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Joel? No, Jordan's no, next. No, no, I'll go, I'll go me because we know exactly what Jordan's going to talk <laughs> about. So we're <laughs> well, saving that. that. Yeah. All right, all right. Because um, mine's quick. I've, just, I've been in the same boat where I've been mixing up with I'm not sure what games I kind of want to play. Yep. Um, so it has been League of Legends. It has been uh, Planet of Better Grounds. Uh, I doubled a bit of RuneScape as well. Oh, I wow. saw you playing RuneScape wow. 3. Uh, oh, wait, not old school. No, no, RuneScape 3. Uh, What's wrong with... Fr- We're not going to get into this. <laughs> uh, Sims 4, 
Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm judging you quite hard for yeah, that. What's wrong with fat. Sims 4? Everything's wrong with The Sims in general. I know, yeah. EA is pretty, pretty devilish, right? Yeah, that <laughs> garbage. Um, but the one thing I did is uh, on... <laughs> what? <laughs> on, on, okay, on Wednesday, uh, I went to Cyber Games again. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, where I played uh, PUBG and League of Legends and stuff. But the one highlight that happened there is someone got really, really frustrated. Yep. Oh, they someone something? you didn't know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. They Ooh. did. Was, was this like one of your friends or just a No, it's someone we didn't know. Okay. So across, uh, we were sitting on one row and on, on the other side, um, the entire CG network had shut down. So everyone yep. who was in game just lost connection. Oh, okay, yeah. And this one kid <laughs> just like he slammed the desk twice. And he got up and he just punched the com- the computer screen. Oh my god! And oh. then like like slammed it down. What happens in that scenario? Does he get removed? So uh, you have to pay for it too. I'd hope. Well, his carer next to him had to like subdue him more or less, telling him to calm down. Yeah. Uh, but as in like his friend or like his carer? His carer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, it was uh, quite a shocker when everyone just you know turned around and just saw someone completely destroy a screen. Yeah, yeah. I think the owners walked over and just looked at him and went, "Yeah, nah, that's screwed." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was the highlight of that one. Yeah. Do you know what game he was playing? Just for reference. No, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> if it shuts down and his computer f- f- froze, then man, yeah. if he if he like didn't even chuck a hissy fit, did you all get like a free hour after that for the network no. going down? No. Oh. You'd think it would. You'd play <laughs> offline games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. And that's what I've been playing. But Jordan, yes. speaking of the whole EA and, you know, Sims 4 is bad. Yeah. Yeah. What have you been playing? I've been playing a little, little niche unknown game <laughs> called Hunter Call of the Wild. I actually gave, I, no, I actually bought that and I started playing it. What is Hunter Call of the Wild? It's just like a realistic hunting game. You're around and oh, hunt God. deer and stuff. He goes on one fishing trip and he's back with no. uh, <laughs> hunting skills. Even, I didn't even fish. <laughs> <laughs> I sat there and watched my girlfriend fish because she's into that's, it. That's, <laughs> that's like a, a Fishing role. is not ex- a spectator sport. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, well, you keep him company and you talk to him about life and stuff, you know. God, that sounds depressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, um, but yes i was just i well me and my friend adam wanted to try something different and um i bought that with the money i earned by playing PUBG. oh Mm -hmm. with your with your 30 dollar loot crate oh i ended up with 50 dollars banded that week really yep so i've still got 15 (laughs) dollars left over yep um but yeah so i bought that and we had a bit of a game last night i played it by myself quite a bit so i went over my two hour threshold and um we decided we didn't like it, uh, and I wanted to request a refund, but I cannot because I <laughs> went over the two hours. Oh, yeah. But um, you know that's right. I've got a game now that that you play. just can't get rid of yeah. forever. <laughs> um, but also, I bought another game, and that game is Star Wars Battlefront Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, and like, I tell have you, you not what? been listening to the podcast for the past? I, I tell you what, I am loving it. Oh, God. I'm, not, I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> Do continue. Yes, so it does have its flaws. It does have its flaws. So many of those are. What are it's they? It's imbalances, usually associated with star cards, but it is a hell of a lot of fun. And it is really cool to look at and stuff. You know, it's graphically very nice. Have you unlocked beta yet? No, oh. I haven't been trying to unlock heroes. I How just... close are you to unlocking a hero, would you say? Um, I don't even know. I haven't, been, I haven't looked at it. He's it's far too... off. Yeah. He's far off. Do you know I'm how many there. like points you get after each game, or does it sort of like fluctuate a lot? Um, points as in points to buy loot crates? Yeah. Is that how you get the, the heroes? I can't remember. I haven't I haven't even looked at buying heroes, okay. so I don't, I don't know what he I He just need. plays for the fun of it. Yeah. yeah. It's a fun game. Yeah. I don't get to play as heroes much anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> um, you get about 330 to 380, depending okay. on how well you do. And do you know yeah. how much a crate is? Crate's 4,000. Okay. That's a lot of games. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, it goes up pretty quick. <laughs> what, you need like 11 or 12 Each games. game goes for about 10 minutes or so. You get a 400 each game. So that's a good couple hours just for one crate. Yeah, yeah, but you get a lot of challenges, you know, like... Um, you know, get get fifty points? kills with this gun. Get twenty kills with that gun. If you do that, you get like a thousand credits for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Something so it's like, like quests in any other yeah, free. Yeah. 
But yeah, like there's issues, especially on PC. I don't think anyone's playing it, which might not surprise you guys. Yeah, um, I don't think anyone's going to play. <laughs> no, no, because you know, I I search for you know just the the main one, which is Galactic Conquest or whatever it is. And, oh, um, so it's the normal one with Galactic in front yeah. of it. <laughs> is that Space, just like that's the forty death player? Match. The forty player is that just death match? Like no, killing it's, each other that's or? the um, objective. Yeah, the objective based one where it changes depending on the map <laughs> okay. what you have to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so and I end up getting in there. And it's like 17 players needed, and you sit there for ages. Ooh, People wow. hop in and leave again. Realize that there's no one in the queue yeah. to leave. Mm. Wow. But the issue is you have to actually wait for people to build up because there's there's definitely full servers happening, mm. but if you're not in those full servers... You just kind of got to wait for the rest. Yeah. yeah. Or you got to press join at the right time that the game happens to end, and then you can slide in somewhere. So have you spot. been waiting or just like backing out and joining every uh, A bit seconds? of both, if okay. it takes too long, because... I'll start waiting and then people will join, the number will go down and then everyone will just leave. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, we're so close. <laughs> <laughs> but um, other than that, I've had a pretty pleasant experience. You know, just your normal first person shooter frustrations. Like, how did he kill me? Yeah. Oh, he's going to start. So nothing specific to that game, just the genre pretty much. So do, yeah. You, yeah. do yeah. you think once um, the purchasing opens back up that you'll see a shift in players? A shift in players is in quantity. Sorry, quantity. Yeah, quantity I don't. I don't think so. If anything, I think it'll lose more players. It, yeah, as people lose interest in the game, it's going to drop <coughs> off. So I'm a bit worried about the fate of Star Wars Battlefront Two because I enjoyed it a lot, and if I'm struggling to find players now, how am I going to go in a month's time? When all the hype is like died off. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm concerned about. When everyone starts going back, okay. I've done that now. I go back and keep playing CSGO. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, you've been playing CSGO a lot? No, no. I'm saying oh, like, right. like the, the casual game is like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know, you got like like me, I've got that one game I keep going back to. Yeah, yeah. your fallback uh, game. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, people always eventually go back to what they were playing. Yeah. But, you know, I just like blasting stuff in Have, Star Wars How do the space battles go? Space battles, I haven't done many of them yet because I can't fly to save my life. Okay, is it very similar to the Battlefront flight where you just get in the plane and immediately crash into the ground because you don't understand the yeah, same thing? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> I need to try, like, do the um, mission so I can learn how to do it. Yeah, right yeah. But there's no space battle only maps? Uh, you can do Starfighter Assault or something where it's just like 20, 10 v 10. Yep. And that you're all in ships and stuff and you shoot each other. Very reminiscent to the normal Battlefront, the original one. Now, if you could rate this. Rate this. Oh, I wanna, God. Yeah, we'll oh do, did you draw the triangle? I didn't draw the triangle. Oh, but, but there are two rating systems because <laughs> you rated uh, Mario out of 10. Yes. Yep. And you rated Assassin's Creed out of 10. I don't remember what I gave it. You gave it like a 7, I think. I think a 7 or 8. Uh, yeah. 6. <laughs> Continuing on. <laughs> 3, really. <laughs> if you could rate this out of a 10 and rate it in your Jordan's triangle. Oh, so you want two ratings. I do. Out of 10, I'm going to give it an that. overall. Oh, uh, actually, before you do, can I ask single player? Have you touched it? I did, I did the first mission. Yep. And that was actually, I quite enjoyed that. Um, the only reason I did it was because I had to update another game so Origin would stop annoying me. Because um, whenever I open up Origin, it's like, Battlefield 1 needs an update. And it starts doing it automatically. So I was just like, all right, just do it. I'm just going to play single, single player or whatever. Right, yep. Um, but yeah, so I... From what I did of that, I enjoyed it. People are saying it's not a very in-depth story. I have heard negatives. Yeah, but um, I I would like the opening cinematic and stuff was really cool. It just felt like um, you're watching you know, like a Star Wars animated movie or something. Okay, but yeah, it was it was nice. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna get better. I just need to give it more time. Okay, yeah. but so yes, out of ten, out of 10 I yes, we'll have to <coughs> give it a six with room to improve. With DLC, okay. <laughs> no, not with DLC. <laughs> with um, with updates and hopefully fine tuning their multiplayer. What if the micro transactions were in the game? Would it still be six, or would it be lowered? It would probably be lowered. Okay. No. Um, was that your score? Yeah, four. <laughs> you haven't played it. You can't score it. You're I can eligible. do whatever I like. <laughs> <laughs> and so, my triangle. Yeah, your triangle. So here's your triangle. You have your gameplay, graphics, and good price. Yeah. So it definitely hits graphics and gameplay. 
But the price the price was expensive. Yeah, it's an yeah. expensive okay. game. Okay. I got it from G2A because I didn't want to pay full price for it. <laughs> How much did you end up paying for it? 75 which really isn't that different. Jeez, but you could have gone to Target and get it for like 60 bucks. No, nah, see, that was only first day. First day, JB Hi-Fi had it for $63 on launch day. Wow. I know. Yeah, that it was horrible. Yeah. That's, I mean, they are losing so much money. Well, they, they lost $3 billion in their um, stocks. stocks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's only going to go down from this we'll point ju- on. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, they can introduce microtransactions into the game again. Then it's going to hit the fan even more. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, right, so I actually, actually, I just want to side note this. <laughs> there was a thing. Um, the, they actually spoke out about an update about this, and they said they EA defended their reason, saying um, the reason they took out the microtransactions. I mean, they they didn't put cosmetic micro microtransactions in was because it's wouldn't fit with the canon of the Star Wars universe. No, they do have to go over a lot of stuff. We did speak about that last week. Mm. Yeah. Where everything has to be officially approved by Disney. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I thought that was interesting. But And the fact that that's can, that's not canon, but the fact that Yoda and Rey are fighting each other somehow <laughs> works in the canon. Yeah, it's something. fine. It's uh, fine. Uh, I'll but, yeah, universe uh, timelines, uh, whatever. Force ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But continue on. Okay, that's, that yeah. was a score. That was that. Yeah. We have the uh, Supernova interview three. Yes, which was Theodore Chin. Oh, wait, no, no, that, that, was, no, last that was last week. week. Uh, Paul Nakauchi this week, the wonderful voice of Hanzo. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Hanzo. Can you say his service. ultimate? Pardon? Can you say his ultimate? No, even this guy couldn't. Really? We are here with Paul Nakauchi, a great voice actor and actor that features in many of your favourite games, including Overwatch's very famous character, Hanzo. Hanzo, at your service. So what got you interested in voice acting and acting to begin with? Well, actually, I was interested as... an actor and a singer. I, I got my education in, uh, I actually studied opera, but the doing voiceovers sort of came on later in my career. Mm. It was just kind of like, you know, um, throwing spaghetti on the wall and sticks. You know, <laughs> I, I did an audition and I, you know, started booking things and then I started, you know, doing all of these voiceover stuff. So, um, that's just kind of how it happened. How did you get to know the guys at Blizzard? Was that like a uh, relationship you built early in your career or did it just kind of well, come ca- about? It kind of came out later, you know. Um, I had worked on um, World of Warcraft. Mm. I had done uh, Mists of Pandaria, I did a, a voice in that and they, they kind of got to know me through that. Yeah. And then I did uh, Diablo 3, I did the voice of Maltheo and then, then I came in and they asked me, you know, Audition for Hanzo, Hanzo, and they hired me to do Hanzo as well. Yeah, but you did it very well, might I say. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, he seems to be the, you know, Overwatch has become such a huge phenomenon, yeah. you know, and so um, it's just, it's great to have everybody really, you know, embrace the game, mm. you know, and enjoy it so much. Have you heard about the church of Hanzo in Brazil? No. Tell me no, about, what, what there's that? a church in Brazil called purely dedicated to Hanzo. Yeah. Only, yeah, and only Hanzo mains on Overwatch. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm deadly serious. Oh my gosh. It was created as like a way to... The person who made it was showing how easy it was to create a church. Um, but yeah, it's just that got a bit viral on the internet. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh my god! But yeah, they, now you know, you are practically a god. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I've been discovering a lot of those things yeah. on YouTube. All yeah. of these things that people make, and you know, yeah. the animations and all of these like little parodies. It's really, it's really amazing. Mm. You know. So, what's the best part about the line of work that you're in? You know what? It's the creativity. There's, there's days where I wake up and I go into the studio. And you, know, you kind of schlep in there, and you, you don't have to worry what you look like, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and you go in, and you just, uh, you know, create create something, mm. you know. And and that's very rewarding, and it's rewarding that everybody, uh, you know, enjoys it and, and gets a lot out of it, and it has such an emotional response to it, mm. yeah. you know. And finally, just to wrap up, do you have a favorite Overwatch voice line? Ryugawa <laughs> taking kudo. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, Paul. Thank you. You got my 
Oh god. All right. <laughs> well done. Much better. <laughs> He's a cool dude. He I is. Like yeah. He is yeah. Cool. Uh, well, everyone we interviewed was cool anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. He started an opera, which yeah, <laughs> it was a surprise. You should YouTube it. There's videos. It's really cool of him doing opera. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'll definitely have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so what's happening going to be uh, next week's uh, interview? Next week, we're going to be talking to Travis Willingham. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Uh, well, you've got to wait till next week. So. It's, oh, a, it's a good looking. interview, too. It's yeah. a very good interview. Oh, of course, mm. it's Travis Willingham. Yeah, I have a video Jordan version. Jordan did good, too. <laughs> Jordan do good. <laughs> I have a video version of that one too that you can. I put the um, Will one up on our YouTube if mm-hmm. you want to check that out. Maybe yeah. I'll put it on Facebook later for people to see look at. You, see how you feel. Mm. Yeah. That's been super nice. on to Destiny. Ooh. It's a scary time. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> so I thought Destiny 2 was already dead because everyone's <laughs> finished it. Oh, it is, but the uh, DLC comes out next week. Yeah. And it's going to live back up again. Yeah. Ah. But there's been a bit of controversy in the uh, community this week. It's the this DLC for $30. Actually, I have, I have heard about this. this. I have heard about this. whole this. DLC can kind of pretty much tie into what this happens Okay. As well. Yeah. All right. Well, let us run us through it. Okay. It so, off? basically, it's got to do with the XP. Um, mm-hmm. So, what the uh, quick version is, is that the community has realized that when doing the same... Um, Events over and over again. Yep. Uh, th- there's a se- there's a secret uh, XP scaling. So what happens is it drops you back down to 44 percent of the XP you should be earning. Mm. Um, and this was unknown to the players. So the players have discovered it um, and called Bungie out on it. And then Bungie um, issued a statement saying, "Oh, you know, like we're reviewing the data. Oh, this shouldn't be the case." And yep. they said that they fixed it now. So what was happening is. Uh, on the screen, you're getting, say, 10,000 XP, mm-hmm. but you're only getting, you know, 5,000 or whatever the 44% oh, was. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> so people were thinking that they were getting the right XP, but actually weren't. Um, <laughs> so said, they, they, they said that they've now fixed it, but what's happened is it, it's gone from 80K per level to 160K. <laughs> so they, they've doubled it. So what's happened is it's gone from 44% to effectively only 50% because they basically doubled it. Yeah. So it's only 6% faster than what it was when there was the issue. <laughs> So, so they're just like, oh, we'll fix it, lowers everything down to the level they had it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, that, that's wow. the That's the quick version of it. So they're it. getting 60% when they should be getting 100%. Well, we, we, no, we're getting 44%. Yeah. Um, but we're losing 56%. Yeah. Right. So the, the issue was they were, they were losing 56%, and yeah. they said, okay, we'll fix it. So they just made it 50%, and then right. just put the right number there. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. So they just fixed up their lie. No one's getting more XP. Well, they're getting a oh, little bit right. more XP. Oh, right. People are just yeah. getting less XP now. No, they're getting a little bit more XP. <laughs> than but what the we number were. that's displaying on how much XP they're actually getting yeah. is now correct. Yeah. 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 That's what they thought the big issue was when it was yeah. really actually, no, you know, it's it's taken forever to level up. Yeah. And that ties into the whole, you know, like, because they want us to buy the bright engrams, which is like um, what you get for leveling up. Yeah. So it's, it's essentially like they want us to spend more money. Like, oh, it's taken too long to level. Oh, I'll just mm. chuck some money on the game and buy some bright engrams. Mm. So this goes with the whole with the EA nope. tr- microtransaction thing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. I won't, I won't speak of that word. So we don't it's, mention it's, EA or it's microtransactions. Still, it's still bad microtransactions, but we're just going to leave EA out of it now. Okay. Because it's got to be about a bigger issue. Okay. Let me just scribble out the word EA I've got written down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it's just it's a no. <laughs> but it, they're denying the players of what is actually going through. Yeah. So they're displaying a message saying you're going to earn 5,000, but you don't earn... 1,000 XP. Secretly, we won't tell you. Yeah. So it was just actually just lying. Pretty yes. much. And they covered up their mistakes and actually said uh, they came out in saying that we did raise it and we, there was a kind of an XP issue. Yeah. But we did raise it and we kind of fixed it. But the main thing they said here is they've begun a process to collect data and recalibrate the XP earn rates to improve them as quickly as possible. So based on what everyone XP is going to get, mm. they're going to calibrate that. Mm. So it's much the same like... <laughs> I won't mention it, don't worry. <laughs> no, 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 I know what you mean. But it, it's very shady. Yes. It is, 100%. And with the, I'm glad someone picked it up now because in the release of the new DLC that is coming out, yeah. it, re- it raises the level cap. It raises uh, your light level and stuff and how much you need to earn XP to level up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So if they continue with this this secret shady deal of hiding your XP, it could have gone a lot wrong. Yeah. Because yeah. it's the mm. whole, we, we force you to buy bright engrams. It's just, it makes you feel like you're what going to What do bright engrams do again? Is that like... So, so that ties into a, a, a comment um, that Roy said. He said, at least you can't pay to win. So it's almost, they are still at the end of the day, a cosmetic item. So Is that like your coat and stuff? Or it's, yeah, it gives you like... Um, your helmet or whatever. It gives you like different uh, suit upgrade, like suit like colours. Yeah. And just like ships and um, so motorbikes and why stuff. why would that cause people to want to buy them if they're levelling up slowly? I think just because of like, uh, like a lot of people want the emotes and because now they've introduced seasons. Mm. So the end of season one is now um, closing and there's certain emotes that were tied to season one. So oh, if okay. you didn't get those emo- emotes in season one, you then you'll never, you never get them. Right. Which is annoying for players that, you know, if you just want to play and then you get their emote, you can get 50 bright engrams and never get this, you know, legendary emote or exotic emote. Mm. I bought engrams myself, but I did it just so I could get a certain uh, skin color. Okay. And that was that because that just wouldn't drop for me in anything. Um, so this is the main issue with uh, companies trying to more or less hide and deny... It's very I, I always like things. it's been this this half of the year, this last six months, like the gamer's voice has been just yelling about yeah. what's unfair. Yeah. I know, and I don't know what's like caused think, it all. I, I honestly don't think there's been one cause. I think the EA incident instigated it, but I think yeah. this has been a building issue for quite a few years. Yeah. Mostly due to mobile gaming. Yeah, and then people are like, "Hang on a second, this was okay on my phone, but you can't bring it to my Xbox." Yeah, yeah, I think so. that's sacred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just seems to be something that's blowing up lately. Like I'm hearing of other smaller, smaller games that are like have very similar like methods, like to like microtransactions and oh, stuff. Yeah, I'm getting just... in trouble now because of this whole EA. Debacle. Yeah. Um, I'm just loving that Blizzard's just sitting back and not saying anything. Yeah, because they got like, it worked out. They know how to do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> you think Blizzard Activision, maybe they could like give this. Oh, I suppose Destiny isn't really in the wrong here. It's just the only thing. They no, do. they are. They are literally in the wrong. They put the wrong number up. Yeah, I know, but aside from that, like, they're micro- microtransactions. Because they're cosmetic. Yeah they're, yeah, they're purely cosmetic I think and they're not people, impacting yeah. the gameplay. I think people would just get annoyed because, like, if they came out of the gate, you know, when the game came out and said, oh, okay, if you farm this activity that's really good for, you know, heaps of hours, then we're going to, exp- uh, you know, scale back the XP. But yeah. since they kept uh, everyone in the blind and lied about it, I think that's why people were annoyed. Mm. Yeah. But if you were told, okay, if you keep doing this activity, it's not going to be as rewarding, mm. yeah. then people wouldn't be as annoyed. Mm. Yeah. Because it's like the arcade in Overwatch. Like, you can't keep doing it to get loot boxes. Yeah, exactly. You but can at least see you, on the top Yeah, at least you many. know that. Yeah. Yeah. But if yeah. they lied and said, oh, keep playing, you might get one, then people yeah. might be annoyed. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Mm. I see why they're annoyed, but I I don't think this is as big an issue as people should be worried about right now. I feel like, like uh, it's just the time for, like, every, gamers are just rising up and getting angry at developers at anything. Yeah. Like, anything is just, yeah. like, lighting and, you know, catching on fire. It's like that tweet from a few weeks ago where it was the, um, what was it, the... the <coughs> Developers of the internet or something? Oh, that, armchair developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. armchair yeah. developers of the internet. Uh, Roy Bl- uh, Blinko has a very good point that every game has microtransactions. Companies just get trashed if it's too much, if, if, it, if it's very much pay to win, mm. which yeah. I think is just how we've always ended this argument. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how every gamer sees it because no one wants to play a pay to win game. Unless you're rich. No. Not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Like, if you're a millionaire, you'd be like, oh, great, I can win this game. Yeah, that's what a whale card. is. Yeah. And yeah. moving on from one whale to something a bit different, Pokemon game sales have officially passed 300 million units. That's amazing. It is wow. amazing if you think about that. So, Joel, what do you think that means? That's, like, do you think all that means... Pokemon games ever? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And That's oh, not okay. as impressive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All 76 of them. Yes. <laughs> See, Between 1996 that's, and 2017. That's, that's how many million? 300. I'll, I'll, I'll calculate but that. Please do you. the math. I went onto yeah. the wiki and was just like, uh, I looked at all the, like, you know, every single Pokemon game, and there were so many I'd never heard of. Yeah. Like, it's amazing how many they've released in, say, like, Japan only or Europe only. And oh, like yeah. That. Yeah, does that, that counts every single... Every single title, any sort of, like, oh, you know, spin-off yeah. story. 
Like there's, there's like a Pikachu detective game. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, knew, yeah. I heard about that. There's a movie coming. Yeah. Uh, Pikachu detective. <laughs> I feel like sales would have been lower, much lower, early for the stages of a lot of the games, and it picked up uh, much later in the series. Yeah. Mm. Maybe when the TV show kind of took off. I feel like once the like DS and 3DS and like that handheld console. Just I was going to say maybe Gen was, three like, or four. Screen type of thing. Maybe Gen three sort of. <laughs> like, I thought I thought well, Pokemon was in its prime. Oh, Gen 3. Prime back in Game Boy days. Yeah, like Gen two, Gen three. Yeah, yeah like Game Boy big... Color and, and Advance yeah. was where it was good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought that's when it was its biggest. Is this where we go over memor- our memorabilia of uh, what our favourite Pokemon game was? Well, I barely ever played it as a kid. Yeah, so. and he's not played it since. I've played Have it on my 2DS. Have played a Pokemon game? Yeah, I've played Pokemon Well, name Pokemon that game Blue. that is your memorabilia game. Pokemon Blue. Well, there you go. That's well, it's a memory from like a year ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Nostalgia. Yeah. Mine is uh, Pokemon Snap. Because yeah? I loved uh, taking photos of the Pokemon on a railed game. <laughs> I don't know why. It was fun on a Nintendo 64. Same with uh, Pokemon Stadium. Those mini games yeah. were yeah. Mm. Okay. top. Mine, I wouldn't say it was my first, but Pokemon Emerald, I maxed out the, mm. the game hours on that. So it was 999 uh, hours on mm. that. I, um, I mm. played so many hours of Red Rescue Team. Which is the roguelike dungeon crawler. Was that the GBA or the DS version? GBA. Okay. I played the DS, so it must have been blue. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they did this weird... So red was on one generation and blue was on the next. Yeah. So red was on Game Boy Advance and blue was on DS. Why? Just <laughs> to, to encourage people to buy a DS. So that way, if you didn't have a DS, at least you could still play like on the on the Game Boy. Yeah. Because okay. if you had DS, you could play on you know both. Or if you're so inclined, it's really easy to emulate. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we can do that. No, no. That's why I said so inclined. I'm yeah. not. I think um, my actually, like, I didn't play the games, but in terms of Pokemon nostalgia for me, it would be Pokemon cards. Okay. Yeah? Pokemon cards. Yes, because okay. I did collect those. Really? Yes. Do you know I, how to play the game? No, I never knew. I just collected the cards. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone knew. Like, that's really, just, everyone's just like, look at these cool cards. such a weird phenomenon. Uh, yeah. It's like, here's all the cards. I, I loved, have a Charizard. I loved collecting stuff when I was a kid. I would get like. Um, you did still you, do did that you ever now. watch? You watch the TV show Jackie Chan Adventures? Yes. yes. And you could yes. get the news agency. You'd the be able tin. to get like the tin and yeah. the special medallions. You got but, that? Yeah. Oh, I I, I don't know if I've got I have anymore, the but... I have the tin at home. It's what I yeah. keep all my loose leaf paper in. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch this show again. To be honest, I love yeah, that. Yeah, oh, so do dear. I. But I, I can never find it anywhere. It's not even like YouTube or anything. No, it, it's as if it didn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Jackie Chan didn't want it to exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. That was um, that was actually a Game Boy game for that as well. It was really good. Oh, really? Yeah, I own it. It's amazing. Oh, <laughs> it's like this this side scrolling brawler. It was great. Yeah, <laughs> I am surprised that the um, Sonic the Hedgehog franchise has more units than Pokemon. I was a little really? bit surprised about that. Yeah, it has three hundred and fifty million units. What? That's that's undeserving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nintendo bias over here. <laughs> Most of them are on Nintendo now. Yeah. Sonic yeah. Forces. Have you seen that? No. Is oh, that the new one? Oh, yeah. Best one of the game, Sonic Unleashed. That was the best one. Is that the recent? No. Was, was that when you went part wolf? Yep. Oh, I remember that. I oh, know. Cl- <laughs> don't, don't, don't smack talk Sonic too much because I know our good friend uh, Travis Willingham is Knuckles in the re- recent one. Right. Yeah. I only said Unleashed because I wanted to look at Midge's okay. face just to see his reaction. <laughs> The blank stare of like, please the, don't say that. Just the utter disappointment of of you. Yeah. Nah. One, two, three, and forces. No, not forces. Mania. Are okay. the only what good was ones. the one that came out recently where it was like a sword or something? You would Oh, the Black Knight or something. Yeah. Crap like that. Yeah. I never no. played it, but just looking at the cover, I'm like, that's, oh. that's not the direction I thought Sonic would be going. I very in. much recommend <laughs> going and watching the Donkey review of Sonic Forces because it's the first Sonic game you can make your own character. Yeah. Oh, really? And he just makes Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I did watch that. Oh. And the, I bet she's like, like, so I make this really cool looking guy. He's, yeah. he's blue, and he... <laughs> uh, my, he does this thing because you can get a hat that says gamer. And it's like, that's so you know. That's your game. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Oh, it's it's a terrible game. I was so close to buying it too because I yep. I got my hopes raised after Mania was so good. I'm like, okay, maybe Sonic games are good again. No, nope. Meta score of like thirty. Uh, yeah, it's selling better than uh, Pokemon mm. overall. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. been it's been going for longer. How many titles are there in uh, Sonic? 
Oh. So there's what, 76 in Pokemon? Yeah. That's probably including like Mario and Sonic at the Olympics and... Well, that still uh, counts. Sonic is still technically in the title, so... Yeah. But I think it's a pretty big move for Pokemon, and just because, you know, like this uh, Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun are the last uh, 3DS games. I have very bad opinions on those. I'm you didn't very, like them? Yeah. No, I'm just very sick of the sequels. Yeah. I don't want to buy Black and White 2. I don't want to buy Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, yeah. right. Like, yeah. they could just re-release Diamond and Pearl, and I would have bought that. I think yeah. it's just because they're on that yearly cycle where they just have to release a game. Yeah. So that, or, you know, um, but at least now the next game will be on the Switch, you know, like, hopefully, you know, there's a lot more improvement. Well, I'll so. let you know. I yeah. will let you know, because I will be getting that. Yeah. Because I was, I was actually originally intending to buy Sun or Moon, but mm. I never did. What's different with that game? Not much. What do you mean? The What's the difference between uh, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Ultra Sun? They released a few more uh, legendaries. It's effectively a DLC pack. Yeah. Yet you buy a new game. It's yes. not worth a new game. What is the point See, of this? I would rather Ultra Sun be like an up version for the Switch. Yeah. I, if it was that, I would have bought it. Yeah. Mm. If they release Stars as a third game I'll, I'll, on the Switch, I'll buy mm. that. Just a side question. What um, When you plug the Switch into your TV, yep. what definition is that? Uh, 1080p. It is? Yeah. Okay. Never looked like it. And then I... is it seven twenty on the screen? Oh, yeah. Okay. While and I was away, I was um in Caloundra, up on the top of the street. There was a gaming lounge <laughs> there, so I went in there to have a look. Yeah. I played a bit of a Switch there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just didn't look 1080p on their TV. No, it's so. definitely. What game were you playing? Uh, Mario Kart Eight. Yeah. No, they just didn't upres it. It's <laughs> really? The same, it's the same as the. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. That's my issue. Yeah, play better games. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll bring in um I'll bring in the doc one day here and we'll play it on the projector. Oh yeah, yeah. that'll be fun. It'll be good. Yeah. In, in the last final thing you have here, there is a core Pokemon RPG coming. Yes. Yeah. Which is the next game essentially. Yes. So core it means that it won't be like a, a Ultra Moon. It It'll won't be a, a spin off, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a new normal Pokemon game. Yeah. It could be the next sta- Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. It could be the next uh, Pokemon Snap. Or when you when you say that, are they allowed to like just say like reuse previous generations and just use that as a new core game? Do you mean like so a if they went to, if they went to Gen three mm-hmm. and then used all of that and then more or less remade they've already done that. they've done that. So everyone's looking at Gen four to be remade. Okay. Which the first ones on the DS. Yeah. Which would make sense for them to be the first ones on the Switch. Yeah. Which was 07, so it's been 10 years. So mm. that's, I guess, that's sort of long enough for a remake. Would you really class it as a core new game if no. they just remake something? No. So everyone thinks it's going to be a new generation, but. And I think people are kind of getting sick of new generations. We've reached the point now yeah. where Sun and Moon was good and they changed everything up, but it was just, it, yeah. I think people want the remake rather than like a new generation. Yeah. 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 Or like a master We're not supposed game. To be encouraging remakes. No, well. It, it, but they were good. They were good games. What Nintendo, what Nintendo should do at this point is see what they've done with with Mario and with Zelda, and just release a core game that is every region. Mm. Yeah, that's hard though. Is it though? It's just they can fit bloody La Noire on here. <laughs> I'm sure they can render like 19 maps. Yeah, but you got to like tie every single story more or less into. Yeah, do your work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni's in this in, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon yeah. Giovanni the, the leader of Team Rocket the way, now Team Rainbow Rocket yeah what I'm but the, sorry, what? the way that they brought back the, all the like all the criminals is really apparently uh, it's just another dimension where uh, you know the main character didn't defeat the criminal is that that's their excuse yeah. for bringing in all the um, you know all the bosses because there's different stuff. dimensions now that's how they explain like all yeah yeah Oh my god! It's it. Look, it's the same as the zombies in Call of Duty, where <laughs> yeah. there's like a loose story that you've got to go digging for. Yeah, <laughs> but this is Pokemon. You don't expect it from Pokemon. There's literal Nazi like, zombies. Yeah, you expect that some weird science the, stuff. The, Pokemon, you catch stuff. I'm gonna go into spoilers here, so if you haven't played Pokemon Sun and Moon, just either ignore me or you'll come back in ten Giovanni minutes. Giovanni catches yeah. that Pokemon no, no, no. and goes through time and space, and he just At, goes back in time. Pokemon Sun and Moon has an end game. No, it was Ruby and. Uh, what was it? Um, Sapphire? Yeah, the Ruby and Sapphire remakes. Omega Ruby? That one, yeah. yeah. That had an end game where mm. you literally transported a meteor that was coming to Earth to another dimension. Yeah. And you could go through, like, random portals to find legendaries. It was pretty much just a cop-out to be able to find, like, multiple legendaries. Yeah, but it was like, let's let's save our planet by destroying an alternate version of Earth. Yeah. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought Pokemon was just to catch stuff and it's getting um, very serious. Become the, catch uh, them all and, uh, yeah. It's getting a lot, lot more developed now, the storyline. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so as we talk about having a main series game go from something small to something bigger, let's talk about something going bigger to smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. PUBG is coming to mobile. Allegedly. Early access mobile. <laughs> Everything's early access with PUBG. I know, this yeah. is insane. But um, publisher Tencent announced that it and developer Bluehole are working to port PUBG <laughs> to smartphones with the mobile version to be released first in China. I know that Bluehole Studios is working on something for the Switch. Really? Yes. We don't know whether it's PUBG or something else entirely. So I thought they're a very small team. Um, I'm not too sure. Well, maybe maybe not now, but when they started, they, they were They would very... have been very small when they yeah. were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, they're yet to announce the release date or provide any information regarding what it's going to be like or the hey, plans to launch. Look at your mobile. <laughs> <laughs> um, but additional details about the port will be revealed in the near future. My issue is my laptop can barely run this game. <laughs> yep. How is PUBG going to run on my smartphone? Get the new Razer does phone. It, does it actually... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's my HTC One vibe. Mm. Um, with Bluehole Studios acting like this and, and having a... Sorry, what was my point? Your phone won't run it. Mm. And it doesn't no. actually say anyone anywhere in here that it's mobile phones. Coming to mobile? Yes. So what's the, the extent of that? That could be the Switch. That could be the oh, Switch. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What, is that classed as a mobile or is that classed as a handheld? I don't know. I would say handheld. I would say more handheld. It's not mobile. I'm still debating whether PUBG is classed as a game. Yeah. (laughs) Not this again, man. I think it's a beta. It's it's early access. Okay, it's early access, which is technically a game. It's not a game. It's not. It's not a game. Oh, my goodness. A game is when it's released. We haven't had games released for years. (laughs) (laughs) Everything's in early access now. Yeah. So that means there are no games that we're playing at the moment. No. We don't have, we don't play games. No, we well, don't. Battlefront's technically not an early access. No, it's not, but it's still unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, but yeah, so recently Tencent also announced that it will release release the popular shooter in China while making changes to ensure that it's consistent with socialist core values. A new batch of PUBG screenshots were also recently released. Showcasing the game's upcoming desert map. Yes. So um, the game is coming to China. I didn't know it wasn't in China, but there you go. China uh, China has very strict video game laws. Yeah, like, so I think it's an issue with the gore or something no, in the game. No, they, they're the not violence. allowed to show exposed bones. What? Oh, okay. Well, you don't see any exposed bones. I don't bones. know. I haven't played the no. game. No, you don't see that at all. Um, but yeah, Maybe because it says communist, doesn't it? Where did you say? Socialist. Socialist, Socialist core values. Yeah. What? <laughs> how? How is... What? <laughs> I don't understand. Everyone spawns in the same point and then they can just go and everyone has the same kind of... Le- every, every time someone gets a gun, it's always everyone's gun. I don't understand. <laughs> you, every, don't Everyone know. gets four bullets. That's all the bullets there is. It's all nice and, nice <laughs> and even and uh, all distributed <laughs> evenly. But, um, yeah, so I thought that was a bit interesting, the fact that it's going to be on a mobile device. Now, we, now you've got me questioning everything. I don't know what a mobile device is anymore. <laughs> Uh, what are games? Do, do you we even really play games? know but what mobile. playing is? Yeah, I guess my question is, do you think this will be the same experience? I honestly can't see it. No, is no, it... this is it's going to be a new tiny map. No, it's what? not even. It's probably just There's like no way they could port this from not, PC. Say, Crossplay if, with PC. Okay, what if it was just simply <laughs> connecting it to your account so you could see the map? Oh, it's that's kind of weak. I don't. I doubt that that would. This would be like a, a leak of some kind that is coming to mobile, just so you could look at the map, or like leaderboards, or team chat, like like the Switch does. Or that um, seems very. Uh, or you, I doubt the game's going to run on the damn thing, so it's going to be some kind of. Um, it'll be utility. Some kind of. Uh, microtransaction fueled thing <laughs> where it's hey, like hey see where you are at the leaderboards only five dollars I reckon like you don't play it at all you just like pick a spot on the map and you do like a lottery and it's like you got this gun or something and you you died and immediately fuel. yeah yeah it's cause kind of like a lottery kind of mm. game mm. It's, like it's, it's just legit slot machines <laughs> or like it's kind of like Pokemon you walk around and then you like encounter someone goes 
And you could do like a, a, a shoot off to see who wins. Just pay like two dollars to re-roll the uh, the airdrop crate or something. Yeah. Oh, just click yeah. this button on your phone. Yes, please. So what would you do if it went cross-play? Would you be annoyed? <laughs> Crossplay with PC, <laughs> Xbox, and phone? Yeah. You have to be really, really damn stupid to even stand a chance. Everything would lag. <laughs> just everything. The whole uh, game would just stop. I mean, you wouldn't stand a chance against anyone. If yeah. you're on a phone, yeah, you're going to lose. Oh, but, actually, because this is... Sorry, just thinking about it. This mm. is based loosely on... Um, what's it called? That That... That young adult book that went crazy and made a bunch of movies with the birds and the... Oh. He was about to talk about like the birds and the bees or something. Yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 birds and the bees. It was it was super popular. I can't. It like it started all the Maze Runner stuff. It started all that YA post apocalyptic stuff. I can't remember it now. Everyone starts in the middle and then they got to kill oh, each Hunger other. Games. That one. Oh, oh right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So it's it's very similar to Hunger Games and Hunger Game. The actual films and and at the idea of the Hunger Games was that there were beneficiaries mm. who could drop weapons. Oh, uh, okay. So like maybe, this is, maybe this is like a spectator thing mm. where you could hook it up to Twitch or something and you just, whoop. Oh, so people I donate to streamers for, oh, here's an AK. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I, I'm going to put the AK here <laughs> yeah. and then it pings everyone that's playing on that map and they all run for it. That would be interesting. That'd be fun. Mm. I'd, I'd play that. That'd be a better way to donate than just, you know, text to speech. You yeah. know, you put an AK in the middle of the map and everyone rushes for it. Yeah. yeah. It's not specifically for anyone. It's just yeah. to create chaos. Yeah. Bryden reckons something akin to Fallout Shelter, maybe. Oh, that game was garbage. <laughs> I yeah. know people who love Fallout Shelter. <sighs> Really? Yeah. He's, do they he's have lives? Huh? Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Are you, do you love Fallout Shelter? Are you no, I've not played Fallout Shelter. <laughs> I can't even play Fallout 4 without getting bored. So Yeah, no, I have that issue as well. <laughs> I don't. I know. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see, I don't know, what kind of result this will be. Like because uh, Tencent themselves have already started work on their own version of PUBG called Europa or something. Oh, it's just got to, it's it's become a genre and it's yeah. just got to stop. It's like <laughs> Minecraft. I don't need 18 billion square based buildings. And at the end of the day the Minecraft's always going to be the better one. Yeah, and PUBG's always going to end up being the better one. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I did I did point out to Adam uh, before the show uh told him to search of a game on the uh store. Mm. The mobile store at the moment which is Rules of Survival. Yes. I've yeah. seen this ad constantly on YouTube. Which is, it is exactly PUBG on your mobile. What? Like, nearly identical. It's identical. crazy. Yes. I thought it was a PUBG mobile when I saw the ad on YouTube. I'm like, wait, is this PUBG? And then it said, like, rules of survival. I'm like, no way. H- have you played it? No. No. I, mean, I might have to play this and I'll come back to his name. You'll get a virus <laughs> on your phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, my friend played it and he told me that it's his exactly, 100%, exactly like PUBG. Yeah, it'd have to have auto-aim, though. Uh, yeah, he said it was... Uh, a little, a much easier to play. Yeah, but much it's... easier to play on a mobile device. What? It'd, it'd be very simplistic controls. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. He like walks forward automatically. You just got to turn him or something. But PUBG's already there. That's what I mean. Rules yeah. of survival. It's already there. Don't yeah. need no PUBG thing. Stick to PC. Yeah. Stick so maybe to Xbox. If you, look at, if you look at games like that, that'd probably give you a gauge on how mm. good it's gonna be. Yeah. Oh, it's not gonna be good. No. No, there's no way it's gonna deliver the same experience or result. So we have more PUBG news. I want to go yes. through the one that I have first before okay. we go through yours. Yep. Yeah. And that's that uh, Planner and Battlegrounds has reached in the top 10 again for the second time. Yeah. Uh, it never left. It yeah. didn't, never left. So do you know about this, Mitch? No. So PUBG is ranked number one, is most concurrent players. Yes. PUBG test servers is also in the top 10 as the most concurrent and most players played. What? Yes. So the same game's in there twice. Yes. Yep. It is. <laughs> it's because I can tell you why. Because in the test servers, they finally rolled out the vaulting, so you can now uh, vault they, over walls and obstacles and stuff. In test servers, they have yeah. rolled out uh, 1.0, the 1.0 patch, yeah. which is, I think, the final base game. Yeah. So once this hits live, that's end of early access. And that's, it's that's officially a game. And when they do that, that's when the de- desert map will come out as well. Well, I don't think Rumors. it's the end of early access. This is the build that they're taking to Xbox, <coughs> I think. The 1.0. You're right. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's staying in game preview for Xbox, so obviously they've still got more work to do. Mm. Um, really? Hard? Still not going to come out of early access. <laughs> and it's nominated for well, Game of the Year. They're probably too scared to at this point. 
the amount of like work that they've done on the game and the amount of bugs that are still lurking in just, that just, game. Just class it as bugs. Don't worry about its early access. Just release it as bugs. <laughs> <laughs> You've played this game for how long? Player Unknown's Buggy Grounds. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have now muted Jordan's mic. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty mental. It test is insane. Server. It is. That's yeah. what I mean. Like I have been tempted to download the test server myself, but yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not downloading that again. I'm not downloading yeah. the whole thing yeah. again. And I don't even know if there's oceanic servers on that. I don't know what the deal is. I doubt it. Yeah. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have much fun playing it anyway. <laughs> and your PUBG news? Yes. Um, the game is apparently set to run at 60 frames per second on Xbox One X. Yeah. So no. I think that's <laughs> that's that's pretty that's pretty good. I think for if it can manage it, yes. Uh, yes. On the original Xbox One or and Xbox One S, I bet it would be locked at like 20. I. They're saying they're aiming. They're looking at 30 at the moment. They have got it running at 30 to 40 frames. That's really? still yes. good. Yes, and that's still pretty good. That's playable. Yeah. Yeah. For like a three four hundred dollar console, that's amazing. Really. Mm, yeah. When um, PCs that are mid range can't even get you know exactly. 30, 40 that was FPS. I was I was looking at like mid range PCs are struggling to even hit 60. I don't mm. think it'll stay 60. I think that's what they're just saying. It's 60 like, for Xbox One X. I can see when there's like maybe. no one around you, like there's nothing happening. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Like, you drop when you're open stead, field. When you're when you're still completely, yeah. you get a good 58 frames. <laughs> you drop military base, there goes your FPS. Yeah, so you're down going to 10. down. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to last. I, I do think that there's a lot of um, different builds they're working on at the moment that we haven't seen. Like they're really probably trying their hardest to optimize this the best they can. Well, they better be. <laughs> there's there's a no game point. this big. Yeah, they want it to be. They don't want it to go on Xbox. They want buggy. The, they're going to want the launch to go very, very smooth. And the servers will crash when oh. they launch on Xbox. Oh, 100 percent. Yes, every game that launches, that right every now. server crashes, no matter yeah. what. No one's ever ready for it. No. <laughs> How are you not ready? You've seen the player base for PC. How would you not be ready to launch it on Xbox? Well, Just actually, I got yeah. a quote here from Brendan Green, and he said, um. The great thing about Battlegrounds is that it's not unlike the more high-paced shooters. Frame rate isn't that important. Uh, yes, it's important, but not as important as for like a Twitch shooter. That is the wrong quote that I was looking for. Um, <laughs> I did read somewhere that he was saying the the play count is is good, like it's, but it's not their priority. Mm. So they're more focused on getting the game optimized and running. So I would not be surprised, based on that quote, if servers die on the first day. Yeah. As long as it runs, though. and But no one's going to know so if it runs if the servers are down. So, so <laughs> is it going on Xbox in early access? Uh, it's yes. going, yes. Or is yeah. PC going to be early access and Xbox is going to be the game, no, no, 1.0 no. rating, but it'll get... Uh, it's being released into Xbox early access. Yeah, Xbox game concerned. preview, it's called. God. Why? <laughs> what do other cons- games do are consoles, in early access? Do consoles get early access games? Yeah, occasionally. I think yeah. Ark was in early access, wasn't it? Uh, Ark is yeah. still, Ark is in, still early. in early is access. Still? Yeah. Yes. What? And it's you what can I mean. buy that from like on a disc now at EB Games. Yeah, it's like seventy bucks. It's full price early access. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> we haven't had a game released in years. <laughs> Roy's the definition <laughs> of. Um, games is now starting to. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch is like in a reality where like games aren't real, man. Yeah, yeah. games aren't real anything. until they're finished. <laughs> well, Roy's made a valid there point. There are games that are finished. He's he. Uh, Roy said, you know, Destiny Two didn't crash. Like that was true. Like there's nowhere to play Destiny Two. <laughs> well, on the release yeah. of Destiny Two, yeah. it actually didn't crash, which I was super surprised about. Um, which you know, for me, a lot of uh, MMO games, always crash on yeah. the day one. Yeah. Destiny 2 went pretty pretty smoothly. I know uh, Call of Duty went horrible mm-hmm. uh, with the release, but not because it crashed, but because the headquarters was garbage. Yeah. But some companies can do it right with predicting the servers, and I hope, mm. well, like, how does Bluehole not understand how the servers will work on an Xbox with, you know, how much concurrent players? Two million? Mm. And I'm willing to bet there's a lot more people who own Xboxes than... Uh, PCs that can run PUBG. How do the servers work? Do they just like open up some like here's two million? They plug, plug an Ethernet port in somewhere. Yeah. And... Who's tell me, who, here's two million spots? Just uh, fill it up, people. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too sure how exactly all yeah. that works. It's all over our head. Um, 
I did see um, an Overwatch video behind the scenes of when they launched the servers. Mm. And it was some guy at a computer, like, looked like it was like a DOS or something. And he <laughs> yeah. Was, and he was great. like, typing all this stuff. And he's like, bing, hit enter. And he's like, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Hacker man. <laughs> and is that the end of the show? I, I think that I is. I believe we are yes. finished. All right. Uh, thank you for listening, everyone. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at ReplayAU or our individual Twitters, which mine is at Joel's Voice. I'm at Jordan Do Things. I'm at Nimble Nimble. And I'm at Adam X Late. Remember, you can go to our Discord, which is tinyurl.com forward slash replay Discord, and go to our uh, live action replay as well. Yes, yes, yeah. check that out if you're into the esports scene. Yes. Well, we'll start more of the replay podcast network or whatever we want to call it yeah. as it gets bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.